Hi, good morning dear students. Hope you are doing good. I am your computer teacher. Today you will learn types of computers. We all wear shoes, right? but we wear different shoes for different occasions and purposes. Right? Since our foot size also differs, we wear shoes of different sizes. When you go to school, you wear school shoes. When you go to play, you wear sports shoes. At home, you wear slippers. And when you go to a party, you wear formal shoes. So we change the type of type and size of shoes based on our needs. Similarly, choose the type of computer to use based on the type of work we do. There are many types of computer which are categorized on the basis of their size, speed, storage capacity and cost. So I hope you understood the, why we use different types of computer. Simply you can say we use different types of computer on the based of on the basis of their size speed storage capacity and cost based on type of work we do okay so types of computer computers can be classified on the Computers can be classified either on the basis of their principles of operations or on the basis of their configuration. Okay, so let us discuss them one by one. Classical based on principles of operations. Computers can be classified into three types depending upon their principles of operations. They are analog computers, digital computers, and hybrid computers. Okay. Let us discuss them one by one. First one is analog computers. Analog computers, everything we see and hear is changing continuously. This is analog data. Analog computer is a computing device that process data which is continuous and varies regularly. Means it accepts data in continuous form. Example, air, water, distance, temperature. Okay. It is part the example of analog data. Okay, except data in continuous form. So, analog computer is a computing device. Analog computers is a computing device that processes data which is continuous and varies regularly. The result given by analog computers will only be approximate since they deal with quantities that vary continuously because we cannot count this because this is uncountable air water distance we can measure only we can measure only only then we can get the result in how much and log computers will only be approximate since they deal with quantities no they measure the quantities and answer the questions how much they are usually used in scientific and industrial application which deal with physical variables such as voltage pressure temperature speed etc example of analog computers are speedometers voltmeters weighing scale so Analog computers gives approximate data. It 
analog computer the data is changing continuously okay everything you see and hear is changing continuously so this is analog data okay so what is the example of uh, analog computers are speedometers voltmeters weighing escape etc next one is digital computers a digital computers operates on digital data okay such as numbers it uses binary numbers system in which there are only two digits 0 and 1 each one is called a bit digital computers is best suited for solving complex problems in engineering and technology okay so digital computer use the binary number system binary number system which has two digits 0 and 1 each one is called a bit okay so digital computers operates on digital data such as numbers the binary number system it works on binary number system which there are only two digits 0 and 1 each one is called a bit okay so digital computer have an increasing use in the field of design where it is used digital computers used in the field of design research and data process okay they count and answer the questions how many okay example of digital computers are calculators electronic computers it is so we get the result in how many we can count for example name age price this is a example of digital data okay so we can say digital computers can be classified on the basis of their purpose as general purpose computer and another is a special purpose computer what is general purpose computer they can be used for any type of application general purpose computer they can store different programs and process the data as per the instruction given by those programs they can be used for any type of application they can store different programs and process the data as per the instruction given by the program another is a special purpose computer they are computers which have been built for a special purpose such as a specific scientific application scientific applications most of the computers that we use that we see today are general purpose computer so most of the computer that we use today are general purpose computer so i understand Hope you understood the different types of digital computer. First one is general purpose computers, and another is a special purpose computer. General purpose computers are mostly most of the computer that we use today are example of general purpose computer, and a special purpose computers are used in uh, used for scientific. research okay etc and third one is hybrid computer hybrid computers this is the example of this is type of computer combines the desirable feature of analog and digital computer okay 
it is mostly used for automatic operations of complicated physical processes and machines nowadays analog to digital and digital to analog converters are used for transferring the data into suitable form for either type of computer so hybrid computer is hybrid computers combines the desirable features of analog and digital hybrid computer has the speed of analog and the accuracy of digital computer because you, uh, you know the analog analog computers provide the result approximate you no know, approximately on other hand we get the accurate result in digital computers so represent data as physical quantities in log computer and represent data as number okay and a speed of also a speed of in uh, log computer faster than digital computer so only then hybrid computer has a speed of analog and the accuracy of digital computers okay i hope you understood different types of computer based on principles of operation so now i will discuss the difference between analog and digital computers okay so what is a analog computer analog computers it accept data in continuous form and digital computer it accept data in separate form example of analog computer is our uh, air water distance temperature etc and digital example of digital computers is price name etc measure and answer how much analog computers measures and answer we get how much digital computers counts and answer how many if you present data as analog computer represent data as physical quantities represent data as numbers perform calculations on physical quantities analog computer perform calculation on physical quantities perform and digital computers performs calculation on numbers and operate on them logically and mathematically so example of the analog computer the speedometer a scales voltmeter an example of digital computer calculators electronic computers so i hope you have i hope you got points understood the different types of computers and difference between analog and digital computers okay thanks